So in case you missed it in part one, I talked about chemistry, um, psychology, drugs, fumes, things to confuse people, okay, and set evil, the principles of evil, and so on and so forth. So I'm not saying that the indigenous peoples of the world were saints. They're all reacting to the martial art order and in rebellion and going their own cultural way. But the colonists were the most greedy and the, the embodied set the most. It was where the greed and the unnatural direction went. You know, it's a little bit confusing about whether they're the most greedy, but they certainly expressed greed the most with technology and drugs and fumes. And these are the principles that came at odds with the martial art order, which was Horus and Set were those principles, okay, unnatural and so on and so forth. So I was talking about the order of things, Shaolin, Sholin, See part one again. You can't watch it enough. The lowest is the richest, the biggest thieves, and the females who try to impress them and do what they say. The attractive females have a very powerful effect that is almost as significant and at times more significant than the effect of the rich person's money and worldly power. The next group of people, you know, these guys are like in the pure devil rich people, okay? The next group of people is the uh, people that mock the hate groups, the occultists. The occultists mock the martial art order. They pretend to be them. They make fun of them. They provoke him, right? Pro, vi, ki, ki, the earth deity. They provoke him, okay? So the people that mock the hate groups, like ha, 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 you know, they say the N-word. They make the, the clown faces popular in popular uh, culture. Ronald McDonald, the curly hair of the clown. They're saying the black guy is poor. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He's dirty. He's undesirable. He's a clown right, which is the unnatural, quote-unquote, civilized direction of the white, colonial, imperialist, sexual, sadist, eugenicist piece of shit, basically, okay. All right, after that, these are points of references, okay. After that, somewhere after that, we get the I don't feel sorry for you crowd, the cops. They're pretending that the system isn't pure evil. They're pretending that it doesn't favor this kind of Masonic, sort of circus mocking, circus evil Knievel types, weird, goofy, evil, yuppie types, okay? It doesn't favor the gender neutral Baphomet. They're pretending their system isn't designed to favor white supremacy and, um, and the most evil of white people, okay? Extreme cowardice, extreme stupidity. They say, I don't feel sorry for you. Everyone from the righteous hero to the disenfranchised guy who turns to criminality because their white slave master gave them no other chance and, and denied them authentic black leadership. Just a fucking fool. All right, then the, after that somewhere, it's the average white person in denial. Okay, all these people, because of their proximity and their association and their connection with the evil white center of this culture, right? White Jewish, white skinned, white skinned Asian, who's rolling with it, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, corporate evil. Okay, are more evil than these other guys. Okay, somewhere along the line, you get the Black Panther, and then closer to the line, you know, somewhere, you know, Black Panther. Then above him uh, is the gang member because he's not such an organized evil person. The Black Panther is actually more evil than the gangs who came out later because he should know better, and he took a communist kind of controlled opposition angle. And it's an organized evil angle, right? He's organized, he's evil, where the gang member is less organized and more just a pawn. So, and then, of course, somewhere you get the, the Christian who wants to be uncontrolled but doesn't know how, then eventually you get the line. And the least of the line is the, the least in the martial art order. I'm falling behind, so let's shoot through this, okay? The craft, right? See the rift. Switchcraft, witchcraft, again, it goes back to mocking, pretending you're a hero, right? Uh, Captain America, Ryu, Ken, you know, John claude Van Damme, Scott Atkins, these guys are pretending they're some kind of ideal person when the ideal martial artist has to be an African royal martial artist. These other guys are just cheating them and denying that African martial arts even exist and so on and so forth. All right, of course, you get the Apollo idea, the Athena and Hephaestus. These are important to the craft. Apollo, science and technology. Athena, some kind of female, you know, craft and, um, and sciences and so on. And uh, uh, Hephaestus, he's, he's forging things. He's a smith. He's forging things. He's an architect, an engineer, and so on and so forth. The craft, the boat, the bait, the anchor, the ankh, meaning life, or, and, core, Right, the core, right, the boat. The boat starts with the boa, just like boar starts with boa. 
All right, so you have the businessman, the secretary, I went over the sexual sadist, white skin, baphomet, eugenic construct that these guys are upholding, survivor, survivor versus universal morals, and, ins and insisting on transcendence, it goes back to the heart versus the tantian or the belly, you know, tr fertility, and so on and so forth. All right, so the white skin race is faced with a, a lot of problems in this, okay? They're the evil colonialists, they're evil colonialist culture. The disqualify connects to the idea of days, right? Everyone else is in a daze. They're confusing them about who they are so they can, so hope they're trying to get them to look up to white people. Okay, they've stolen uh, the, the, these various females from their cultures to reshape the kind of white thick man into a thinner Van Damme sort of shape. Okay, uh, the timing, the trajectory, the breeding, uh, uh, the patriot kind of point of reference. The patriot is basically the same as a white nationalist, right? You're both a white movement and you're both talking about nationalism in a country that was founded on lying, deception and evil and ill definitions, misdefinitions, misdefining equality, right? They had slaves talking about they're all equal and they denied these slaves their rights and so on and so forth when they were more evil than the slaves and the slaves arguably should be, if anyone should be given the vote and the other one's seen as subhuman, it is the slave masters doing the victim wrong. Not the victim, you know, who's closer to the martial art order. It's very straightforward. Of course, I'm mixed and I'm not racist. These are universal principles that, that lead this, not some kind of cultural imperative. It's a moral, romantic, and holy imperative. Anyway, functionalism starts with the word fun. Fun, see, shun, lay, eyes, magic. It's wordplay for that. Fun, see, shun the righteous so you can lay people with the eyes match. Going back to the days, this disqualifies them and their bloodline from being valid spiritual leaders because they come from a long line of people who dealt in the days instead of teaching people to live in reality. The plan and the clan are connected. So is the script and the crip. And I'm running out of time, unfortunately. So basically, these guys also believe in polluting. Pollutants, drugs, marijuana, heroin, crack, coke, meth, pesticides in the air, asbestos, on and on, right? The game, the G, the gay, quote unquote, magic E or me, right? Obviously not me, them. Sage, backwards, E gays, the gays are doing this, and E gas, the sage and the scribe are connected. Describe, who's describing the Bible? It's the scribe, and he's connected to the gay sage, okay? And that creates the righteous rage, and so on and so forth. Moral indignation, righteous indignation. All right. So the cultural price tag is inferior. Chaos and being unfocused are connected. They, you know, circus and, and drugs, and they're doing all these things to make you unfocused. And they're organizing their madness and making it seem like they're the ones who know what they talk. They're talking about why they're drugging people in the ghetto, making it seem like they're un, uh, unfocused and so on and so forth. And to some degree, they are. Trickle down evil, the trick, the trap, trap backwards is part. The trick, the female who rolls with it, right? The corporate guy's slut is a trick. Okay? She's been tricked to be on the highest level of evil and to be acting like a little sniveling Babylon baby line bitch. Okay? Criminality and cultural favoritism are connected. Immorality, immaturity, and criminality are connected. Okay? We have, okay, I'm going to skip over that part. I'm almost out of time. Damn it, I'm going to have to make a part three. Ain't that a fucking bitch? You know, I just drove down the road to upload this last part. That's part of why I talk quickly, because I have not many memory on the phone, a lot of pictures I need to have, and I have to drive down the road to upload it, copy it over, and then come back, you know, and do all this stuff just to make one video that's nine minutes long. That's why a lot of these videos in this playlist have been three minutes or so long. And then they usually say, he's bipolar, when logically the situation and the, and the urgency and all the ideas I have to go through, they're drugging me, causing me memory problems, cognitive impairment, makes it so that I'm inclined to talk quickly so I don't forget my train of thought.